Yo, what is up? This is the Salamander doing a review of episode 172 of Fairy Tale. And to me, this episode was definitely fun. The first part was just fun. The second was entertainment, and the third was combat theme. Ah uh, man, what? I was going to be in the first part. The first part, we in the last episode we see Minerva being the shit out of the and and this one to see how Fairy Tale we react. And all I have to say is. Hey, man, I wanted them to be fat so bad. I wish they just fought full right at the end because everyone thinks it's a good thing about it. I saw this point a little bit fine, but Natsu was so angry and but everyone prevented him from fighting like, by, um, by telling Sable saying that um, you, um, you have anger when enemies like you are like, crazy. You should not anger fairy tales. So, like, that made your enemy of one of your greatest foes, basically. And that was pretty awesome, I have to say that. But, that, that was what I was going to say. I just wanted to fight so bad, and the way that Nasu was ready, I thought they were going to fight right there, right, um, right now. But now, to the second part, the second part, um, Mark the Master is going to say that Sophie has to become one of the greatest players in the game. So, now, we have the most bad ass game. Alright, now we all see them on that. It's um, it's a sick moment where it's running down the corridor like, and then it's really closed up, closed up, and you're doing the video for the moment, but you've got to open the video, because you, Natsu, here's a great angry Natsu, these are the most sick, now I've got to say it's only a bit of fairy tale, and I'm going to see them in that video, but the next time he was, 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 we're going to be staying there and uh, I can't remember the other guys. So, uh, uh, that was a very interesting thing because you can see them like, like they face like badasses. Like, they're probably woken up with them in the first place. The, okay, the third part was um, like a comedy part where, uh, what's the name? The bunny man. Um, he has a bunny man. The wolf sees it. The wolf from the court. Some of the name was, but it's a great person that I want to get to. Oh, my God, my God. But, well, it's quite funny. It does have a bunny man, right? It's a G.S.I. from Idola. I can't remember. Please comment below if you remember the name. I can't really remember that world. But this is the other world, and it's exactly the same, but kind of different. Whereas it's a G.S.I. instead of the cat, so it's from the G.S.I. Yeah. But was I the only one that saw a bit uncomfortable because it was all these days at the moment that they were acting and now I had to go to the But the way that the bunny man was so so suspicious and the way he was waiting for the TV was like the end of the game. But I think that we should, when he was lifting up the mask and you saw his chin, I just knew that they must, it must, it must have been, it must have like been like a another game. Never thought it would be Nietzsche, or Nietzsche or something, but, uh, but that was kind of funny. And the way they, he did defeat the wolf, um, killed as well. They just, <laughs> the guy just becomes super, like Super Saiyan, ah, just knocks him out in one punch. Uh, that was really funny. But overall, I gave this episode about a nine out of ten. I thought it was, it was it, there was a lot of suspense, entertainment, and there's a, a comedy moment as well. So this is the Salamander signing off. Peace.